Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you're watching Technical Spark. In this video, I'm going to cover events and reports. Earlier we saw entire Deep Security Manager along with the policy configuration. Now it's the time to take a look on events and reports. And in this video, we will be going to see the best way to export report. Whether you want one single report at the one time or you can schedule this report forever. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, one small intro video. Friends, very first login into the our Deep Security Manager console. Once you logged in, directly go to the events and report option. Under this, as you can see, very first in the events, we'll get all system events. So if you want this, you can simply export by using this particular tab along with a filter like for what period of uh, logs you would like to export. But friends, before you export, the one thing you will need to keep in mind. Very first decide you will require these logs in an Excel format or PDF because under the events you are seeing all the policies along with the system events. So this data can be exported in only CSV format, not the PDF. So to export the report in PDF format, you will need to go to the general reports. And here you have option like single report as well as schedule reports. But for an example, if I choose any report like let's say anti malware and under the format, I could see PDF report as well as RTF, which simply means in reports, you will get the PDF format and in events, you will get the Excel format. Now let's try to generate one single report from the events under the anti malware. What I'll going to do here, I'll go to the identifier files. And here under the period, we'll choose custom for from date. I'm choosing 1st September to till now, which is 18 September. And this is my current timing. It's the afternoon 12.53 PM. In computers, we have multiple options. Currently it's selected all computers, but if you want uh, this particular report to be generated for any specific group, you can choose that and then select the group. Currently, I don't have any group. So that's why it's showing only one. But if you have it, you will get multiple options. Similar way. You can select in group as well as subgroup. Let me show you. Let's duplicate this computers. And what we'll do? We'll create here one subgroup under the computer. Test subgroup. Add. Click on close. So as you can see, I have one subgroup created here. Now let me replace the screen. Custom range. Past September to till now. In group subgroup. If I'm going to choose my computer, it will pull all the logs from our this particular group as well. Now let's go to the policies. So here we have multiple policies configured. So whichever the server using that particular policy for those computers report will be generated. Similar way subgroup and the last is computer. Here you can choose any specific computer identified files. So let's let's say we have selected DSM. This is how this criteria works. But for now, let's select all computers and then refresh. Here we go. We got one file that is deleted and the malware type is icar test file. And here is a path along with a SHA value with risk status. It's a known bad file. Now, if you want, you can simply export this particular CSV and it's downloaded. Let's double click and open this. And here we go. We got the complete Excel file here. So whatever data is showing on the console, we got all the data here. SHA value, EMD5 hash anti-malware, our infected file, malware type, computer, and the time when exactly is detected. So let me close this. Similarly, if you want to add a few more options in this column, you can do that by going into the column option. You can select all the options which is you think applicable for you. Let's click on OK. Here we go. We got the computer name here. If you don't want, let's say I don't want any submission time. So untick this and this option will be gone. Click on OK. See submission option is gone. So this is how you can generate the report from particular policy. Now if I go to the single report here, I'll choose anti malware or let's say in uh, this time we'll choose recommendation summary report. If you want to set any classification, you can do that. Like I'm selecting internal use only and the format will be PDF. As, as you can see, tag filter and time filter option is gone as it's not editable. And now in the computer field, we can choose this particular report for all computers. If you want to set any password for that particular file, which I mean the report 
which is going to download you can do that but right now will not put any password now click on generate perfect this report has been generated open this from here it's in pdf format guys double click and here we go for internal use only the report filter is all computers is generated on this particular time by this user master admin from which i have logged in and here is a high level overview of all the policies like your intrusion prevention rules integrity log inspection total number of recommendation and how many are applied for this particular policy 271 recommendation rules are applied so if you calculate all this it will become 271 number of rules assigned then these are 270 one is missing so our compliance ratio is 99.6 percent which is very good and these are the rules have been applied for intrusion prevention similar way if i go down then here is a second which that is for integrity monitoring rules listed now let's go more down log inspection rules and that's it so i hope you have understood how to download recommendation summary report now let's go back to the, our deep security manager and this time we'll choose one deep another rule let's use security model users report for last let's give here as the custom date that is for 1 september to till date and click on generate and as you can see when i choose security model users report i don't have any edit option for computer filter as well as encryption because this is very normal information and it doesn't require much customization that's why i haven't received any option now let's uh, you know open this report it's came under the csv format so let's open this and friends here we go here is our server name along with the computer group start date stop date start time stop time duration and these are your modules like anti-malware web reputation application control integrity monitoring log inspection firewall dpi and sap so right now i'm not using these two so friends this is how you can uh, get to know whether any of the server is not using any of the security module accordingly you can take the action like in this way my this particular linux server is not using this model which one log inspection as well as firewall i'm not concerned about the this other two uh, modules because i don't have license for that now let's close this as well now guys i hope you have understood how you can download your events reports now similar way you can schedule your reports from here schedule reports click on new what is the frequency you want to set for your schedule reports so let's say i want to set it for weekly click on next what is the time you want to receive like let's say i want to receive in the morning at 9 10 am and it has to be generated every weekdays so monday to friday it will trigger uh, this particular uh, report now let's click on next which report you want to download so for an example i want to download anti-malware report what is the classification you would like to set for office use only or confidential document type pdf is very good enough tag if you have any tag applied you can use that and if you don't know how to apply the tags to any of the server or any event then please refer my previous video in the policy configuration i have explained this particular tagging option time filter so here i'll choose last one day because i'm going to receive this particular report on daily basis and computer filter will be all computers but let's say i'm going to export report for only this policy spark server because that is the one which i'm using and let's tick include sub policies also because it may happen that under the spark server i'll in the future i'll create few more policies so that will be included in this particular report and if in case if you want all the computers report then you can choose this first option now click on next which user you would like to send this particular report so right now i have only one user in my console for that email id is not defined no issues guys i will show you how you can uh, so you know put your particular email id in your environment if you found multiple users and you want to send that particular report to only specific one or two users then you can choose second option and tick mark that particular users now click on next now this particular task will run at set time on weekdays 9 10 am but if you want to test this particular rule now then you can do so by just by clicking on this option now let me click on finish guys i won't be able to test this particular report because i haven't configured smtp let me show you how you can configure smtp for that go to the administration and here under system settings 
जस्ट चेकआउट फॉर एस एम टी पी स्पेसिफाई यूर ई मेल सर्वर हियर और यू एम ई मेल यू आर एल फ्रॉम एड्रेस बाउंस बैक एड्रेस एंड द मेल सर्वर यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड इफ इट रिक्वायर्ड टेस्ट द कम्युनिकेशन एंड सेव द चेंजेस वंस यू रिसीव यूर टेस्ट मेल नवलेस गो टू द यूजर मैनेजमेंट यूजर्स and here is a master admin as we saw earlier there is no email id configured for this particular user right so we are going to configure now go to the contact information and here you can specify your email id master admin at the rate technical spark dot com and if you want you can tick mark this like primary contact receive alert emails so until and unless you are not selecting this particular option you won't be able to receive emails okay and this option is very important guys now click on save that's it and you are done now let's double click on this again and here is my email id now email id is got appeared earlier it was showing no email so friends i hope now you have understood how to generate events and reports as well as how to schedule the same if in case if you still have any doubt query question then please feel free to let me know in the comment box below i will be very happy to assist you friends if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleague if you are new to my channel then please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon so that whenever i'll upload new video you will be very first to notify That's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next amazing video. Till then, bye bye.